Welcome back, peeps. Thank you for tuning in to the Band of Bros channel, where we're always taking a look at the new tips and tricks in the Call of Duty universe. And in today's video, we've got a special one for you talking about the new ZRG 20mm sniper. We're going to be talking about is it good? Like, is it actually worth leveling up and unlocking for Warzone? I'm making this video because there's a lot of YouTubers with a lot of different points of view talking about stats, it's worse, it's better, this, 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 broken, blah, blah, blah. And today I'm here to give you the savage truth all right there's one good reason why you should use this sniper why i think it's the best and there's another reason why i don't think it's the best so i got two reasons for you guys but i'm gonna let you got the beef to the truth about this sniper if you guys do enjoy this kind of content please leave a like and subscribe and turn that notification bell on it dbls me out a lot and it's most special thanks to all my youtube members who give a little bit extra support my channel and with that being said let's jump right into this video So let's get right into this puppy. Now, again, the reason I was saying is because J God said that this sniper wasn't really worth it, right? Because other weapons had better bullet velocity, less bullet drop, and then exclusive ace also talked about that then he mostly also said about the damage right regarding damage it did this does less damage than the hdr and the car 98 but then came along true game true game data came along and he was like nah 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 the uh the bullet velocity is actually good and it doesn't drop and it's actually one of the best snipers in the game best meant to long range another really famous youtuber called stoda i don't know if you guys watch him but he's really good at sniping and he said it wasn't good so there's all these different opinions and this is the beef, all right? Forget all the numbers, forget all the numbers, because what I've learned about Warzone is sometimes the matter, the numbers about bullet velocity and bullet drop don't always matter. They're not always that important. Let me tell you why. Did you guys know that the Pellington actually has Every, everything's better about the Pelling thing compared to the Car 98. ADS is basically exactly the same. You can quick scope everybody. Bullet velocity is faster on the Pellington. Bullet drop is better on the Pellington, but people still seem to use a lot of people like the Pellington, right? It's a good sniper, but a lot of people still seem to use the Car 98. And if we're not talking about the no glint, if you put a scope to the Car 98, to the Pellington, like the four times, it's got no glint. So everything number wise is better for the Pellington. So why is the Car 98 still the favorite? And the reason being is just, I think it's just the feel of the sniper and the easiness about it. And I think that's something that's going on with the ZRG. Forget about the numbers, the numbers are good, right? It's got good bullet velocity, it's got good bullet drop. It can compete against the HDR and against the Car 99, all right? So let's get that straight. Just don't even look for the numbers. The numbers are good, all right? It, it, you, you can hit somebody in the car, you can hit somebody running away really easy. A easy peasy, just like any other sniper. So the, let's not talk about the numbers. But number one reason, why I think this is a good sniper is the most important thing, and it's something that True Game Data talked about, and it wasn't until I used it and used it and used it and used it every like on the weekend that I realized that the recentering and the reacquiring of the target is really, 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 really easy with this. So bullets per minute, so it can shoot a little bit faster than most other snipers. And you can definitely notice that. And it's something really good. So you can shoot a little bit faster. And when you take that shot, th th like the recentering and the recoil of the web, it's like next to none. I mean, there is almost nothing. So it's like shooting an M82, but with a bolt action in a way. And the sniper just, re so I think that is one of the main, and, and I, I really can't stress this enough how good that is. It's got quick ADS, it's got really good recentry, and it can shoot the bullets really fast. So those are the three main reasons why I would say this sniper is good, all right? Now, True Game Data did talk about a broken factor, which was like, you know, sometimes I hit him in the shoulder and it counted as a headshot, so headshots are easier. In my experience, I think this has been one of the downsides of this sniper. Not that I get headshots all the time, but when I hit him in the head, it's obviously a headshot, but I do feel that something is broken in the sniper. It might not be broken. It might just be the damage that exclusive ace was talking about. It's just like, sometimes I really feel that I heal, that I hit those like neck shots, upper back, upper chest that should at least break armor and it doesn't break armor. Like I've hit people twice with this uh, with this sniper and not gotten an armor break. So two, sh two shots with this sniper and not gotten a single armor break. So it's kind of like, 
I think the damage is really bad and just the inconsistencies inconsistencies around that top area is kind of broken but in a bad way and I, I again i've used the sniper throughout the weekend every single time and i play with it for a long time it's already max, it's almost max level and i play with it for a long time so i i really do think there's an issue with going on with this sniper that i get a lot of hit markers i don't get any broken armor so it's kind of like uh, you, you have to hit those headshots because with the HDR, you know the HDR packed a punch. I mean, the HDR is a slapper. So when you get a hit with the HDR, you know you did some solid damage to the enemy. But with this gun, sometimes it feels like you're just throwing rocks at the enemy and you kind of have to get that headshot. So that's the bad thing. Overall, answering the main idea of this video, is it good? Should you level it up? And that is a most definite yes. Uh, you should definitely level up this gun. Easy peasy, yes with that. Yes, there are damage issues with this gun, but for the most part, I mean, you are trying to go for those headshots and they are really easy to get those headshots. It can compete with the bullet velocity. It can compete with the bullet drop. It can compete with the quick ADS. Like you can definitely quick scope some people and I've gotten some nasty quick scope with this gun, not gonna lie. And it is really, really good. Now, the uh, class setup, I don't have it complete yet. You know, I'm gonna upload a video on that specifically on the best class setup, but you definitely have to have the agency moderator and the combat recon to push that bullet velocity to the maximum to where the hdr levels are because if if it's not like without those two things at the beginning like when you're trying to level it up it does seem like it's pretty shitty but then once you start unlocking things you unlock the combat recon barrel then you unlock the agency then you unlock the rear grip then you unlock something to make it faster then you can start to see that this weapon starts shifting and it's actually really really good so ladies and gentlemen that is basically it for this video and I, I just wanted to make not that long of a video uh, but just to let you guys know that I think this sniper is good and what I thought about it so I think it is good you should definitely level it up just do be aware of that um, the inconsistency with the damage and that you are gonna really try to go for those headshots on this one but yeah that was my honest opinion on this there's a good and there's a bad but definitely worth leveling up let me know down below in the comment section what you guys think about this sniper do you guys love it do you guys Think it looks weird. What do you guys think about this sniper? Thank you for tuning in. Peace out. And I'll see you all in the next one. Well, hello there. I see you're still here. And because of that, you're going to get a VIP tour of my brand spanking new website. Here you can check out if I'm streaming or maybe donate some Benjamins if you want to support me a bit more. Most importantly, you can get your own anti gulag merch right here. A hundred percent guaranteed that you will not go into the gulag if you wear one of these. And finally, you can check out some of my COD videos and the top point makers on my stream. And now, with all that being said, I'll see you all in the next one.